big jump and tis our fast intent to shake all burden from our age and confer it on younger strengths a we unburdened crawl toward death. We have this hour of constant will to publish our daughter's several dowers to prevent future strife. The two great princes, France and Burgundy, great rivals in our youngest daughter's love, here in our court have made their abbers sojourn, and here are to be answered. And tell me, my daughters, since we will now divest us both of rule, interest of territory, cares of state, which of you shall we say doth love us most? that thou our greatest bounty may extend. Goddoro, our eldest born, speak first. Sir, I do love you more than words can wield the matter. Dearer than eyesight, space, and liberty, beyond what can be valued, rich or rare, as much as life, with grace, health, beauty, and honor, as much as child e'er loved or father found, a love that makes breath poor and speech unable. Beyond all matter so much, I do love you. What shall Cordelia speak? Love, and be silent. Of all these bowels, even from this slide to this, with plenteous rivers and with wide-skirted beads, we make thee, lady, to thine and Albany's issues be this perpetual. What says our second daughter, our dearest dragon, wife of Cornwall, speak? Sir, I am made of that same metal as my sister, and tries me at her worst. In my true heart, I find she names my very deed of love. Only she comes to me short. <laughs> that I profess myself an enemy to all other joys that the most precious plant sends to me. And find that I alone could look to in your dear kindness of love. Then poor Cordelia, and yet not so, since I'm sure my love's more ponderous than my tongue. To thee and thine hereditary ever remain this ample third of our fair kingdom. No less in faith, validity, or pleasure than that conferred on Goddard. But thou art joy, although our last and least, to whose great love the vines of France and milk of Burgundy strive to be in chest. What can you say to draw a third more opulent than your sisters? Speak. Nothing, my lord. Nothing. speech a little, lest you bar your fortunes. Good, my lord, you have begot me, bred me, loved me. I return those duties back as our right fit, obey you, love you, and most honor you. Why have my sisters husbands when they say they love you all? Happily when I shall wed, that man whose hand must take my flight shall carry half my love, half my care and duty. Sure, I shall never marry like my sisters, to love my father all. Goes thy heart with it? I, my good lord. So young and so untender. So young, my lord, and true. Well, let it be so. Thy truth then be thy dower, by the sacred radiance of the sun, by all the mysteries of Hecate and the night, by all the horrors from whom we do exist. 